happy Friday. Yeah, man. Um, today was a good day because we are still riding Summer Fridays yeah. strong. Um, we don't work on Fridays. It's the best. We only have a couple left. Yep. Very sad. I don't want to think about it. Okay. Let's not think about it. Let's focus on what we did today. Uh, I, I did a lot. I started yeah. building some Space Marine stuff, which is really cool. You started building the Redemptor. Oh, he's super cool. I'm, he's going to be beautiful and like the door opens up and... So do you want to tell everyone what your favorite part about this particular model is? Okay, so my favorite part about this model... He was really excited about this earlier, so I really want to make sure he had a chance to share. Was looking at the sprues, you really can't tell what I'm making. There's another sprue, but it's roughly the same. And I feel like with everything else that I've built with Warhammer, it's been mostly characters. Yeah. You look at the sprues and you're like, oh, there's a body, there's a cloak, here's like head attached mm -hmm. to an arm. And you kind of know what you're building, which isn't a bad thing. But with this, looking at the sprue, I'm like, I just see like geometric shapes. Yep. This makes no sense. And then when you start clicking things together or gluing things together, you're getting this amazing looking RoboCop. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm trying to, I'm planning to magnetize some of the guns so we can swap them out. He's getting fancy on it. I'm trying to get fancy. Super so I, fancy. I tried to magnetize this grenade launcher. And it launcher. did not work. The re it, it did work. Because... I, I, okay, so I put things together. Experiment. I didn't look ahead enough into the instructions. And like this little turning part, kind of hard for you to see, was already put into place. So I drilled a hole and then I realized, well, there's no way for me to support the magnet from the back. So I couldn't do it. I've looked ahead for the rest of the weapons and I know where they are so I can hot glue You can be the, more strategic. Right, hot glue the back of the piece with the magnet, glue it down. It should work. This was just a bonus anyway. I didn't really- It was a, it was a trial run that kind of failed but you learned a lot from it. Right, I didn't really expect to magnetize this okay. little piece anyway. It would have been neat if it would have happened. Maybe with the next one that I buy, I'll magnetize that. But I'm excited when I go to magnetize, maybe I'll do like a, a live stream for that on Instagram or something. Wow. We'll see, that might be tomorrow when I work on that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens. Besides that, you worked on stuff. Uh, yeah, I painted mm -hmm. some stuff, some of the minis that we've been 3D printing, uh, which I will show one of them on stream. Can I look? Yeah, sure. All right. This, which you cannot see. What is that? Yeah, let me focus it for you. You guys can tell. Are you ready? Sure. Eric doesn't know what this is. I have no says. idea what this is. Can you guys guess what it is? What is that? Can I look? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's a swarm of rats. It is a swarm. That's pretty good. It's a swarm of rats. So, you now know that there might be some rats in your future. That's really well done. I need to touch it up a little bit more. A little bit. And um, it needs a real base. I want to put like real bases. So. That's, I like that. Um, I, if since we're still on 3D printing stuff. We got it. yeah. 3D printed some terrain. Terrain. Which super is unpainted, about. but unpainted. as you guys know. Obviously. If you put some paint on it, it looks totally different. I don't know where my other big piece is, but it's there's over, a, there. over there. There's another big like shell of a building that I printed out. Yeah. Everything's going to be painted. Um, After that was said and done. Yeah. So we did a lot of miniatures and painting and nerd stuff. Then we went to the movies. Yep. We went up with, met up with Emily and Will. Um, and we went, okay, we were going to see... The Dark Tower. The Dark Tower. Which I know we talked about on Social Sunday. If you guys tuned in, people were saying I should read the books. I didn't read any of the books. So the reviews are terrible. Terrible. To the point that Emily texted me in the middle of the afternoon and was like, uh, if you guys really want to go, we can still go, but do you want to see Atomic Blonde instead? And I was like, let's see Atomic Blonde. Hold on, just before we move on to Atomic Blonde, the only movie currently yeah. that is worse than The Dark Tower 
It's Valerian. Is the emoji movie. Oh. Yeah. Wait, it, Valerian is better than the Dark Tower? I think the ratings are better. The emoji movie opening weekend yeah. had a zero rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Yeah, I think That's now it's really bad. I think it's like maybe at four or five currently. That's really bad. Um the Dark Tower I think is at twenty. It's just so they tried like, to fit too much of the books in an hour and a half movie. There's no character development. I didn't it, read any of the reviews. I know nothing, Jon Snow, so maybe I'll check it out um like a, a matinee. I say we just wait till it comes on the television. It'll probably be on like stars and like I don't know. Sure. A few weeks. Either one. Anyway, so we went to see Atomic Blonde instead. Which I am the antithesis of Atomic Blonde now. No, you're pink, by the way. Yeah, I know. So that's I not... said antithesis. Yeah, okay. You should. Um <laughs> Although antithesis would be black. Yes. I'm being particular. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna be particular. Stop. We're Why gonna you're keep ahead. going. Stop, stop, you're already sinking. We went to Atomic um, Blonde. It was really good. It was really good. It, was it wasn't really good. great. It was. It was fun though. Yes, it was a fun. They, it's so it's based in the eighties. Nineteen eighty nine, in fact. So the music is fantastic. Yeah. If you're a fan of the eighties, um, and I just I really enjoyed it. It was a really good yeah. spy movie. Charlize Theron is a badass. A badass. She's amazing. I've always loved her, so I knew she was going to be awesome. So this isn't a spoiler, but there is a fight scene, a particularly long uh -huh. fight scene, which looks like it was done in one continuous shot. Might have been so, two. So is this there the might fight have scene been... in the house? Yeah, the towards, yeah, yeah. It could have been two because there's one, If to be really tricky, there's one where it's like, there's a quick black object yeah. or something moves across the screen so that cut. would have been a cut that's when they cut but i was gonna say that's when they cut but that was there was still a long sequence mm -hmm. before that yeah. possible cut and it was a great great fight scene mm -hmm. for a continuous shot and also i would say the fight scenes in general are very uh visceral mm -hmm. like very much you're seeing people hand-to-hand -hand combat but not like in a superhero movie not like in other you know Jason Bourne movies like I thought this was above Jason Bourne in the sense that like you saw them breathing heavily being exhausted like anytime someone got hit they looked like they were bleeding and like when you got punched in the nose and blood starts trickling out of your nose, that's because you got punched in the nose. Like right. there there wasn't like, oh, you still look beautiful at the end. No, it's like, you are messed up. Like because swollen black eyes, messed up. The it Jason so Bourne movies, good. I feel like cut all the time with a fight it scene. It depends on which director it was. Yeah, but I feel like the, it, the, the, the fights, I feel like it's just like splice, 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 splice. And that kind of annoys me sometimes. Mm -hmm. This was more, of a, a also improvised of a steady weapon. cam that just caught yeah. all the action really well done and the and improvised I weapons and like there's one part i'm back to the scene that he's talking about where they're on the floor and there's shattered glass everywhere and obviously you know it has safety glass because they're not going to be shattered glass but like she ra rakes her hand through it and it looks the the look on her face was like Oh God! Like it was just yeah. It was so it was so good that those fight scenes were fantastic. And apparently, she did all of her own fight scenes for this. It looked like it because it and she would like do take after take. I did see something online that said she basically bought every single stunt guy like a present afterwards because she was like, I actually injured a few of them because they do this professionally and they were so game to have me like take this on and do this with them and there were definitely some bumps and bruises right but um but yeah so apparently she did the majority if not all of the fight scenes it for looked the like movie. The, the the choreography was it for it wasn't super sped up and fast a la jason warren yeah. or some um, fighting movies yeah but it wasn't like slow and so I, it was. It felt a good medium. Like mm -hmm. it looked like they were really fighting, and they're professional fighters, not superhero fighters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So well done. Tom McBlan, 
great movie. Definitely check it out. The, I will say overall the pacing of the movie is a little off. It's I felt like the, the pacing was a little off. And there are points, I mean, it's not a great movie. It has some great fight scenes. Mm. If you like action <clears throat> fight scenes, there are some fight scenes in there that are epic. I think the, the reason I say the pacing is off is because those fight scenes are so epic, the slow parts seem very slow. And it wasn't a high intensity, like, it's not a chase movie where there's, no. like, it, you know, it's not Mission Impossible where they're gonna, like, drive through the city and, no. It there was, was more like, of a story with this. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I would give it a really solid rating and I would watch the fight scenes again for sure. <laughs> like, I just wanna go YouTube all the fight scenes so I can watch it again. Yeah, for a movie, it was really good. For, like, um, a TV series, like, if this was a two-part TV series uh -huh. that was gonna turn into something, it would be probably an amazing yeah. two-part TV which sounds like I'm making this movie sound bad, but it was just, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. I i hope they make more. I don't know. Just saying, I hope they make more. Okay. I, it, I, I enjoyed it. It was good. Okay. She should do more action movies. Yes. I think that's it for today. Yeah, I think Go that's see it. Atomic Blonde, good movie. Feel free to see a matinee. You won't feel like you wasted your money. Yeah, definitely a matinee movie. Definitely a good weekend morning matinee movie. Yeah. Um, or if you want to go on a date with your friends, that's fun too. I enjoyed it. it great good. popcorn flick. All right, guys. Hope you had a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.